Okay, so this is a super common question. Um, given that you have a regression equation, like so, okay, how do we interpret the beta coefficients? So suppose we, we've given this we've given this uh, regression and we run it in say Excel, okay, and Excel spits out the following regression coefficients. Now in this short video, I'm just going to talk about how we're going to um, interpret beta one, which is the more interesting coefficient. So the first thing you have to do is to, you have to realize you have to be aware of what units your x and y variables are measured in. So education suppose is measured in years, okay, your number of years of education, and wages is measured in dollars per hour, that's uh, what's your uh, wage per hour. Now the way we interpret it is really easy, okay, so beta 1, okay, which in this case was estimated to be 1, tells you that a 1 unit increase in education will lead to a beta 1 unit increase in wage. So what this means here is that if you, if you have one more year of education, your wage is expected to increase by one dollar per hour. The key to this is knowing the units of education, units of wages, and knowing that a one unit increase in, um, in your x variable will lead to a beta one unit increase in your y variable. Now, in a simple regression, that's, the, that's where we end, okay? But there's a very common you know, question, like, is it education that's leading to the increase in wages? Or is it that more educated people tend to have an I, a higher IQ and that's why they get paid more, because they learn better on the job. It's not really education. Okay, so maybe it's not education that's leading to this increase in wages, but it's other factors that are correlated with education, such as IQ, um, it could be gender, it could be age, that have an impact on wage. Okay, so how can we um, disentangle those uh, complicated relationships? Well, we use a multiple regression. So we can, so suppose um, we estimate another regression, equation, sorry, and we get something like this. So this is education, okay, plus 1.5 experience plus 2 IQ, okay. So you can see that this is a multiple regression now. We have uh, more than one X variable. We have three X variables, education, experience, and IQ. Now, the way we interpret our beta 1 here, okay, our slope for education, is very similar. So one unit increase in education is expected to lead to a one dollar or beta 1 unit, inc beta 1 unit increase in wages. Okay? So how I'd interpret this is that if, edu if education increases by one year, wages is expected to increase by one dollar after holding experience and IQ constant. So this means we can observe the pure relationship between education and wages after stripping out the uh, possible confounding effects of experience and IQ on that relationship. We call that the marginal effect or the marginal impact of education on wages. So what we mean is that if we had two people and they had identical experience, they have identical IQ, if one of the guys, if one of your um, individuals has one year extra education, they're expected to have, they expect to earn an extra one dollar per hour. Okay? After controlling for the fact that they have the same level of experience and same level of IQ. And we call that the marginal impact or the marginal effect. Okay, so in summary, it's, it's actually very simple. Um, in a simple regression, okay, beta 1 is interpreted as a 1 unit increase in your x variable is expected to lead to a beta 1 unit increase in your y variable. In a multiple regression, the interpretation is exactly the same, but it's that same effect after controlling for your other x variables in your regression. And so beta 1 in a multiple regression shows you the marginal impact. Thank you.